How's it going everybody and welcome back to some more of the council if you remember last time we went on the hunt for the spear that pierced Jesus Christ's side and We went looking around these tombs and we found a bunch of sarcophaguses, which you think is uh, a Weird for being down here uh, Lord Mortimer even had one um, And I picked a spear that I think is the right one so we now go go see our mother at the wharf I think I'm going to skip this walk though, so see you in a flick I didn't even find all of the copies of the lance apparently i thought i did apparently not i didn't find all the clues no i didn't uh and now we come for time as it is mother's waiting for me on the wharf oh is she now join your mother at the wharf um um, it's this way, I believe. I always get lost in this place. <laughs> uh, this way. Take a right. No, left. There's a dot. Left. There it is. Oh, Sticking hello. Nose everywhere again. Whoa. Wow. What's the matter with him? Excuse me, monsieur. I don't follow you. I What's up, Bonaparte? This way just What's going on? So close Seen aggressive right now. What are you talking about? I am talking about what you are doing. Uh, what am I doing? Is going to boost my career. There is um, no question of me letting you ruin everything. I just surprised Piaget and Volner talking. You are about to rob Mortimer. Uh, no, I'm not. Him immediately. Uh, excuse calm, me. Please. I, I don't Who know what do you're you think about. you are? Let's cut this short, quick. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, we gotta slap him. Um. Uh. Go on, just slap him. <laughs> right in the face. <laughs> that was brilliant. Oh, well, that worked. That worked very nicely. Okay. Uh, which way is it? Uh, quickest way, probably to the right. It doesn't really matter. Right, let's go. Come on, Stumpy. The wall. Do do do. Do 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 do. Oh. Ah, Louis. Perfect timing. Oh dear. As luck would have it. Come, my boy. I would like to have a word with you. Um, no. Oh, okay, I have to. I would just... Come I'm closer, just... please. It's no. time we had a little chat. I okay. wanted you... Oh no, your hand. That First person to notice. So that's it. She is prepared to use you. What do you mean? It wasn't enough for her to lose her hand she had to make you lose yours too i cannot permit this to continue louis it's time you found out the truth i've been observing you since you arrived i, I guessed you running all over the grounds in the search of sarah i would like to prevent her from leading you even further down the wrong road the wrong road louis sarah has made her own choices of her own free will and I would like for you to have the same chance. You see, Sarah and I have known each other for a very long time, Louis. I am aware of her theory. About me? About Gregory? About the demons? I'm gonna She's say right. nothing. What? Look at me. I have inhabited this body since 1191. For the last 602 years, I have been this, dear William Mortimer. You've been Mortimer for 600 years? How really? How long have been among mankind? Oh, I don't think I'd be lying if I said that we have always been here. Oh, really? If I follow you, 
you must have witnessed some of the greatest moments in history. <laughs> you could certainly say that, yes. Really? Did you know ancient Egypt? Oh, yes, yes. We were gods on earth in those days. What did men call you then? Amenhotep IV. The, the tenth pharaoh of the 18th dynasty? Ooh, I see you're a connoisseur, Louis. Impressive. Did you know ancient Greece? In many ways, yes. One day Pericles, the next Parmenides. Just the memory of the time I spent working on acoustics with Pythagoras. Well, it, it moves me quite deeply, to tell the truth. Pericles. He's the one who brought Athens to its golden age, isn't he? Mm -hmm. In a way, yes. He established democracy and then died during an epidemic. It wasn't so long after his two sons passed away. Isn't that right? Excuse me, Louis. I, I would rather not relive any more of that, if you don't mind. You seem to be fascinated by Christ. He... You weren't him, were you? <laughs> oh, no, no. No, not at all. He was no, my no, father. No, no. Not at all. Strange as it seems. I beg your pardon? What? Am I dreaming? Oh, please tell me I'm dreaming. We should have the chance to talk about all that again later, but... Yes, yes, he was my father. All the mythology surrounding Jesus of Nazareth really stems from my father's prideful need to show himself among men. Um, did you experience ancient This is weird. Oh, yes. It suddenly got real weird. Decadence, Louis. My family did indeed reign supreme, but from this period I retain only the works of my friend, Marcus Vitruvius Polio. I'm just going to ask him about that you have a passion for the Crusades. Among other things, yes. Mainly the third. It was during the siege of St. Joan of Arc that I took possession of Lord Mortimer. And you've never changed skins or bodies since? I have used other envelopes, but only to carry out very short tasks. Apart from that, indeed, I have been able to retain the identity of William Alexander Mortimer throughout the centuries. This got weird! You're the devil incarnate. The devil? I'm not saying that all Judeo-Christian folklore hasn't served us, but the truth is, of course, something quite different. Please, don't look at us through the primitive prism of religions. I am not hiding any horns or goat's feet, Louis. I have no tail. Why do you bring up folklore? You mean that you've taken advantage of people's beliefs? No, not exactly. I mean that we, in fact, created them from scratch. It is amazing to see how mankind has such a strong need to believe in something superior to itself. It was very instructive for what was to come. Mm. Lucifer, the fallen archangel, left heaven accompanied by 133,306,668 angels. Is it true that there are that many of you? No, I assure you, Louis. Forget your Bible class. It's ridiculous. We are not angels. We don't have wings. This all there seems a bit ridiculous. No a million of us. And for that matter, no sacred human text represents us correctly. There are several families. And the family to which I belong has eight siblings, including Gregory and myself. Sir Gregory is your brother? Yes. What can I say? <laughs> you can't choose your family. But it is very difficult to know exactly how many of us there are because a large number of our kind remain hidden or never reveal themselves even to us. Oh, like this is seriously weird. <laughs> thoughts of men. That's right. Every demon has the capacity to infiltrate the minds of men and to read and steer their thoughts. Can you tell me more about your capacities, your supernatural powers? Supernatural? From my point of view, they are perfectly natural. Well, Louis, just because the monkey does not fly doesn't mean that we should consider the bird a supernatural creature. We are all part of a grand design. We are simply made like this. By developing our art, we are able to read thoughts as well as write in the minds of men. It is possible for us to make them bow to our desire 
But it doesn't work without leaving some scars. And what do you do with this power? We help them, of course. Of course you do. And you expect me to believe that, I suppose. Louis, demon is Damn just it. a word. She's another one of these. It all depends on what exists <laughs> beneath the surface. I understand that this isn't easy. The culture of men is centered on the fact that demons are responsible for all the evils on Earth. But if this is seriously the same gone every weird, culture, then maybe there might be something to it, don't you think? Certainly, there is something to it. Control. Man has spent his existence wishing to believe in the supernatural and imposing his belief on others. What could be more convenient for manipulating the masses? A perfect, inaccessible being and a plethora of demons in every one. The perfect idea to relieve men of all responsibility while still finding them guilty. Continue. Right. Louis, it's time you opened your eyes. Come. To war. You'll soon see. After you. Can you give me my hand back? If you could manipulate us mentally, what's the point of all the theatrics of the conference? You must suspect that we asked ourselves that very same question. For many centuries, we didn't organize any conferences, and most of the time, it ended in civil war between demons. Many of us were killed during this period. The idea okay. of organizing conferences was the answer to everything. The interest being to erect some rules among ourselves. Our family first divided up all the principal countries of the world. Now, whenever one of us wanted to propose a major change between these countries, they summon the demon in question and initiate a conference. The demon that initiates the proposition doesn't have to give notification of the subject of the conference beforehand. Consequently, we participate along with our best assets. Once the humans are brought together, the conference begins, but we are forbidden to use our talents to influence the participants. The first meeting is held in order to expose the subject to all the participants, followed by several days of reflection, during which we are allowed to be persuasive, but not to impose our will. A second meeting closes the conference with a final vote. So, for you it's a game, isn't it? I understand your remark, but... So After living several centuries, policy? locally we often have competing interests, and sometimes we start wars between men which are linked to our disagreements. Most of the time our father steps in and gives directives, which my family follow to the letter. Indeed, in my opinion it is high time we moved on. This is weird! What do you mean? I mean that a new era must begin. The old monarchic regimes are out of date, and it's time as to weird evolve. as this got. I so, like him more now. <laughs> I like the exactly. demon more. Alazif has always belonged to my family, Louis. And with good reason. My father wrote much of it. Can you tell me what you've done with... What? You mean the Alazif? No, I already know that. Sarah came here with it and got rid of it. I was thinking of Von Bortet. He isn't essential, but he is a trusted person. Uh, about him, um... How can I put this? Ah, I see. Well, he jumped me. It was him or me. You don't need to justify yourself, Louis. Don't worry. Oh, so I did that to him because I found him on the floor. Um, so obviously something went wrong. This was a few episodes back. So obviously something went a little bit wrong. That's very weird. Did what happened to Strange. Elizabeth Adams have anything to do with you? Mm. Unfortunately, the poor girl became an issue between us, in spite of herself. A family of demons is still a family, and as in all families, there are disputes. Elizabeth's family, the Adams, has always been under the patriarchal control of my father. Oh, so as the Adams he family. And myself are not really <laughs> on very good terms. Uh, Sending poor well. Elizabeth here was terribly rude of him, really. You did accept, though. No, I would say rather I was presented with a fait accompli by Gregory and went along with the intention of helping her. But this is my castle, and everyone is the master of their own home. You controlled her so she would commit suicide. I knew it. 
I know you did. Moreover, you impressed me. Oh my god, me. I got it right! You really did sense what had happened, but you couldn't quite explain how. Right, I'm going to stop it right there. Ages ago, when she got murdered, I went on the assumption, I took a guess at not blaming anyone, and said she committed suicide. I thought I was completely wrong and that I made a bad decision, and oh my god, I actually got it right. Just had to stop it there, because I cannot believe I get dead. Let's continue. Oh, wrong button. A good job, too. Because for a moment, I was afraid you would prove the theory right in front of Gregory. But why? Well, she was my father's eyes and ears, and Gregory took a malicious delight in walking her all over the manor to spy on me. He would be furious if he knew why I had prevented father from being able to check up on what was happening here. I hope I've answered this is all nuts. your questions, Louis. This has gone so I have something to weird. There, there is one question that remains to be answered. Why me? Why tell me all of this? Oh, haven't you guessed yet? My lord, I don't know if I can answer in all honesty. Please do, Louis. You can say anything to me, believe me. You must admit, being surrounded by all these servants isn't doing much to relax me. Oh, forget the servants. They're only here to ensure my safety. Why? What are you afraid of? Well, I wouldn't want you to get the wrong idea, Louis. But you have spent your entire life fighting the occult. You have just stolen the Holy Lance from me. And I do happen to be a demon. Do you not realize the power that relic has on a demon? Y you mean to nope. tell me the Lance can kill a demon? The lance is marked with my father's blood. It has acquired the capacity to block us inside our host. If a demon got injured by the holy lance, they wouldn't be able to change bodies. If the wound were mortal, the demon would surely die. It corresponds to one of the periods when my father had a dire need to show himself to men. Hmm. Mm. You see what that led to. So you're telling me that all of Christendom has been built on the myth of a demon? Ironic, don't you think? But it is oh, essential that is so men remain mental. oblivious to that fact, Louis. I'll this is literally the weird. Would interrupt and tear through all of the religions if ever they found out the truth. Look, we are of the gods, Louis. Always have been. You, as much as me, you are one of us, Louis. What? You too are a demon. What? Are you serious? You know it. Deep down inside, you know I am telling you the truth. Where do you uh, think that natural charismatic presence comes from? Your talent must already have manifested itself somehow. Have you? Right, hang on. Before he says anything else, I bet Lord Mortimer is my character's father. You ever had any visions? No. Yes. Stop it, it's absurd. Have you never found yourself suddenly inside someone else's body without knowing why? Yes. Whilst asleep, maybe? That's yes. how it often happens the first time. Your spirit wanders unconsciously. My mother can't have lied to me about that. It's true. Your real mother would never have lied I, to you. I, what do you mean? Louis. I would rather you found this out from her own lips, but it's important that you know. Sarah is not your mother. I, what? Oh I'm my god. Way, Louis. But you must know the truth before you commit an irreparable act. No, I... No... It, no, it's not possible. You are my son. Ah, uh, call that. <laughs> but what the hell is going on? This is so weird. Well, well. Now you're his bastard. You really took me for a fool. Don't make a move, you clowns. Everybody keep calm. Don't say a word or I'll shoot your kid. Uh, not so clever now, are we? At last, I found a way to put the pressure on you, Mortimer. Look, just calm down, monsieur. You stopped me from ending it all. Because of you, I've had to pay for it. You don't know what it's like. He's in your head. He's in your soul. I never want to feel that again. Jack, I did not betray you. You're just like him. Monsieur Pellu, I don't even know what this is all about. It's quite simple. 
You're like them! If that's enough to make me unforgivably evil, then I prefer you shoot. But I don't feel as if I've changed. I'm, I'm still the same man I was an hour ago. Hey, we'll corrupt you. It's inevitable. And I won't be able to resist, like you are now. Uh, well, Give me yeah. The, the doubt. Think about it a moment. So, what are you gonna do now? You've just found out your true nature. What difference does it make? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Peru, Peru. Etiquette and psychology. Neither of which are there. And you, Jack, how does it make you feel? Changes what? everything. Well, why? How am I responsible for it? I never said you were. You two are his victim, Louis. But it makes no difference to me. If I let you go, you will proliferate. I must stop all of you. And too bad for me if I have to die for it. You're just like him. You are already. You can't see it, or you don't want to see it. But it's already too late. In fact, I haven't got any choice. You always have a choice. You know very well what will happen to you if you shoot me. Hmm. Got a point You're going there. to be held accountable, and Wonder you will lose everything, there. starting with your freedom, and then your head. I told you, I don't care. Not about yourself, maybe, but what about your daughter? It wouldn't be the same for her, would it? Shut up! Shut up! She will be alone, in a world that you know is hostile. What will become of her? I... That's true, but... Don't abandon her. Not a second time. It's your last chance, my friend. <sighs> It's over. Come now. <laughs> you know what I told you. Evil and good depend on you and not on your nature. <laughs> yes, it's true. And the same holds true for all of us. Monsieur Peru, I am willing to overlook this latest scene. You can thank my son for that. I think, however, <laughs> that you ought to take your leave for your good and ours, as well as that of your daughter. Oh man, this is so weird. Things got weird. Things got really weird. I was really hoping that our mother was just going a bit cuckoo and that demons weren't going to come into it. And I'm really unsure how I feel about how this has gone. I really Not too am. Shaken up. You've experienced many significant events since your arrival. To tell you the truth, I don't get much time to ask myself those questions. Quite right. Best not to react to all this too suddenly. Take some time to think about it all. For now, I think you ought to find Sarah, my son. You ought to talk things over with her. So she's been lying to me all along? Let her justify herself. What's done is done. Sarah must explain herself. You must clear the air. We'll have all the time we need to talk afterwards. But all in good time. B before you join her, I'd like to give you something. As a demon, I would like to introduce you to your first talent. What do you mean? Open your mind, my son. Relax. You hold immense power. It's already there inside you. Empty your mind of all thoughts. Just let me show you the way. I should relax. Open your mind. Hear my voice. Feel the vibrations and listen to what has been happening to you deep inside, but which you have been concealing. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. I... I can hear something. Now breathe. It's a sound very, very faint. That's right. Concentrate on it. My voice is growing fainter, but I am here. I... Whispers, words, mixed voices. Mm. Focus on one of them. Don't be afraid. I... I sense a stream. Some words are clear, but not all of them. Let them enter into your mind. I... Hear them. Now, now I can hear a clear voice. Well done, Louis. Congratulations. 
What was it? You are now able to read people's minds. I... What? You heard me. From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. What so is going on? if you need on? to know something in particular from someone, all you have to do is make them think about it. Hang on. You mean to say that if someone lies to me that I will know? Exactly. But, but that's, that's just incredible. You still need to practice, though. There are also a few rules you need to know that govern this talent when used between ourselves. You can read the thoughts of demons as well as of humans. But be careful. A demon more experienced than yourself will know that you are spying and will often react quite violently. It's considered bad form to play around the psyche of another demon. It's a question of courtesy. But let's be clear. What is most considered bad form is getting caught. So I would advise against trying to read the thoughts of Gregory, for example. Home? Yes, the old grump is touchy and rather a stickler about the conventions. On that note, go and see Sarah, Louis. Otherwise, she might leave without you. We'll continue this discussion later, if you want. Just join me in my study when you've finished. You're now able to hear the superficial thoughts of your interlocal... I can't read that word. Each use of the mind reading costs one essence point. You can now earn one back when confronted to an immunity. Two, by exploiting a vulnerability. And three, by consuming a devil's thorn. You're right. I need to go now. See you later, Father. One more thing. If you want to know the talking. truth about your birth, ask her about Paris, 1763, at 12 Rue des Martyrs. That's where she disemboweled your mother to steal you from me. Well, that's pretty brutal. Okay, everybody. I'm going to leave this episode here. It's not that I regret all these discussions, but I must hurry to the wharf. Things just got so weird. I want odd way to go. I was not expecting this at all. Um, and I really don't know how I feel about it. But I suppose we'll see how it plays out from now on. But thank you very much for joining me today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Bit of a long one today. A uh, lot of immense stuff happening um don't forget to hit that subscribe button drop a like let me know what you think down in the comments do you like the way this is gone do you like this whole demon thing um do you think that was a good way to go or do you think they should have kept it more grounded i want to hear what you have to say on the whole thing and i will catch you all next time take it easy everybody